The Tangyun V2 is a flagship 2x2 from famous manufacturer Dian. Today, we're going to take a close look and see how it stacks up. Out of the box, this cube made me worry because the magnets were really strong and the feel was a little scratchy. However, changing the magnet settings and breaking the cube in did a ton to make the Tangyun V2 2x2 feel a lot better. I added some angstrom dignitas to the pieces to soften up the feel and get the cube a little more controllable. I'm really liking the no-nonsense feel, the size, and all-around performance. Corner cutting is there, but has some limitations on extreme cuts. This model is firmer and more tactile than its V1 predecessor. Overall, I approve of this puzzle. Now let's get to know this cube a little better. The Tangyun V2 2x2 measures 51mm across and weighs in at around 65 grams. It comes with a comprehensive 2x2 solving pamphlet that features multiple methods, a die-in cube bag, a screwdriver, and a magnetic adjustment tool. Dian has a storied history when it comes to 2x2 hardware. The Zanchi 2x2, the original one, was an event-leading puzzle for many years and has held many world records. Since the Zanchi, however, and with the introduction of magnets, Dian 2x2s have kind of taken a backseat to other models. The Tangyun V1 2x2, released in 2019, drew general appeal due to its unique feel and good performance, but lacked support from top solvers. Now Dian is increasing the customization options with the Tangyun V2 with this cool magnetic adjustment mechanism. As mentioned before, the puzzle comes with this small black tool. If you look closely at the center pieces, you can see that there are numbers 1 through 3 around each of them. Use the tool to adjust any of the arrows to one of the numbers. Make sure every center is adjusted to the same number and you're all set. 1 is the strongest magnet setting while 3 is the weakest. This cube is on setting number 2, which we feel adds the perfect amount of stability and control. Making a turn on this cube results in a smooth and tactile feel. On settings 1 and 2, the magnetic bump is very apparent. Overall, I think this is a quite a solid release from Dian. I'm really curious how this cube will perform in the hands of competitive 2x2 solvers. As always, thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and take care.